Hey friends, this is Consummate Outdoorsman here. Well, we've been out hiking for the last couple hours, and uh, as you can see from behind me, that's what I like to hike through. Break a new trail, just going through the woods. I don't like doing so much of a trail walk, but what I've been doing is I like a set of wood snowshoes, and the wood snowshoes that I have, um, the bindings that I had on them, they were okay. They're said Bob Mackey's. He's out of Ross Common area. And it's basically like a, a rubber type of binding that goes, put your foot through the loop, and you pull the back up around the heel of it. But what I did is I swapped them out. And I went to a traditional type lacing. And I want to show you when I get out here out of the deep snow. I'm coming out of the woods right now to an opening. And I'll show you my old dog. I got my buddy Duke with me. He's my hunting buddy. He goes with me everywhere. So you can see some of the snow machiners have been coming down through here. So we'll use this track right here. All right. Well, as you can see, that's just a set of rope. Now, these are Iverson um, set of snowshoes. And I did these for a trade. So what I'm going to do, this takes a little, these shoes that I have on, this binding was designed for mucklucks and what happens is with our modern day like snow boots that i have on they've got uh, cleats on the bottom of them and they're really not that good for uh this because they kind of they, they grab the snowshoe the binding the leather part of it so i'm gonna show you how it takes a little bit of work so bear with me here so you get them on and off you kind of put your foot on here and you pull your toe out like this and then around like that and then take your heel out okay and then put them in once again i'm not using any hands let me show you so i get it down there by my heel get the loop there take it out and around and then cross it and push toe back in so it's pretty simple um a lot of trappers used to use these like i said especially when they use the mucklucks so I'm gonna use my, this is my right foot now. So toe out, and then you swing it around like that, and then out. Let it put it back in, and in, and you're off and walking. So what makes this extremely nice is you don't have to get your hands all wet and dealing with buckles and all that stuff, and which kind of comes kind of with a, of a Pain in the in the hands, if you will. <laughs> but I challenge you: get out, you know, in the wilderness, even in the winter time. There's nothing wrong with getting out and going for a walk. Um, you know, as you can see, we've got probably 10 inches of snow now on the ground, and the spots has got about a foot. But don't sit inside. This is January 2016. This is January the second, and I'm out here in the wilderness, and I challenge you to get out and go snowshoe. Go hiking, go cross country skiing, whatever it is, don't sit in the house. And, you know, we always make a statement up here, people in North Michigan, we don't hibernate, we recreate. So, hey, this is Consummate Outdoorsman. I'm gonna show you in the next video uh, how to tie these so that you'll have your own. I'm using mule tape on this, so a lot of people, they use candle wick. Um, it's candle wick, it's, it's a little firmer and thicker. So, I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks a lot.